Welcome to episode The Mandalorian, Season 1, Episode 6, Thoughts. You know the policy, no questions. So what's the job? Isn't that a question? Oh crap, now I did it. What is that look? Is that gratitude? Are you smiling? You guys, I think he's smiling. If he says it, it's like it's coming from me. What you're describing is ventriloquism. Looks like a Canto Bite slot machine. Episode 8 reference, despite the negative attention I got. Cool. So this is a Mandalorian. I thought you'd be bigger. Well, it is cold in here. So the big red guy has the devil face from that guy in the cantina. Must be the same species. Possibly the same person? They're not very long into the flight before all of the crew were arguing and provoking each other. One, two, three, four, five. Mayfield, I don't think you brought enough guns for this job. I do like that thing he has that fires when he's in cover. Berg got them discovered because, you know, he can't not intimidate the mouse droid, which is, of course, reminiscent of Chewbacca roaring at the mouse droid in Episode 4. And they are having problems, but then Mando takes out the droids. I really like the standoff between, what was it, da da Davin, the one human on the ship, and the mercenaries. Mando, stop putting that gun in my felt! Yeah, I know. I'm pretty sure the episode it already was a Reservoir Dogs re reference in the episode itself. You have 20 minutes. We only need five. So, I guess what you're saying is, in five minutes, you'll tear that whole GD building down. And they knock Mando into the cell, and they're going to leave him in there, and then he uses the grappling thing on a bot, gets out of there. And Mando locks the door, separates some of them. Very cool. And he tries strangulating Berg from above through a vent. So I'm guessing either he just watched Leon or he's been playing Hitman Blood Money. But Berg just, you know, I, either way, good call. But Berg, you know, other than the whole, it's, let's, I'm going to be diplomatic and call it age difference in Leon. That's, yeah. But, yeah, but, but Berg just yanks him down there. And Mando tries crushing Berg under a door. He sure does like that move. But Berg lifts it up, but then slams the other door. And then, you know, I forget who, but someone pointed out, you know, his horns were completely broken by the end of that. And Mando tries sneaking up on Zian. We see just how good she is with knives. How well she does know him. I love the bit where Na Mando was sneaking up on Mayfeld as the lights blink. We see him every other time they blink. That looked incredible. And Quinn tries messing with Mando's head to try to get him to spare him. Grogu tries to use the force on Z, who gets shot. And Grogu's like, I didn't know I could do that. And Mando knew they would betray him, so he put the tracking beacon on Quinn. And the X-Wings take them out. You know, the, the guy, what was his name, Ran or something? Which... The, the, yeah, he's played by that, um, you know, the, the guy from Batman Begins that, you know, he swears to God and Batman's like, swear to me. So, you know, I don't know when that guy broke bad. He used to be such just dependable, nice guy. And we do see Mando didn't kill the three crew members. He just got them locked up in cells. Was that Dave Filoni who played one of the X-Wing pilots? I, I want to say he wrote and directed uh, Clone Wars episodes. And Clancy Brown from Starship Troopers. I knew I'd seen him somewhere before. Played the, the uh, Berg with the you know red skin horns. He's great for characters like that. The enemy cannot push a button if we disable his hand. And that is it for all of my notes. I continue to really love this show. Really looking forward to next episode. And yeah, so 
I hope to catch you then. Next. Yeah. Next time. <laughs>